Practice makes perfect. Practice does make perfect. At first glance, one would think that pony hooves are not suited to play any instruments with finesse or grace. Or to even play at all. It is true. Hooves are much too broad. And without any appendages or digits like Griffin's claws, it is quite impossible to play. For unicorns though, that wasn't a problem. They had a horn to solve the problem of hooves. Their horn solved almost every problem anyways. They could press a key, touch a string, or open and close the holes in a wind instrument. All with a simple spell at the tips of their horns. It was so easy with a horn. Unfortunately, Tempest had no such luxury. Heck, she'd forgotten about the whole horn and hoof issue when it came to playing an instrument. She'd just gone straight into it like she'd gone straight into Canterlots. Except this time, only her pride got hurt. She'd bashed herself for being so foolish. How could she not have thought this through? She'd felt her hopes dwindling then, adding to the fact that she couldn't use her horn without instantly reducing the precious mahogany instrument into an ashen crisp. She became outright discouraged. Wait. That brought up an awkward question. Miss Octavia had no horn or any other appendage with which to channel magic through. So how did she play her instrument? Tempest had rushed to the musician's house. She'd asked Octavia, or interrogated her, about the issue. The musician merely laughed in that posh, canterlot-esque style, then explains that Pony Hooves could certainly play an instrument as well. All one needed to do was form little magic points over the keys or strings they wanted to play. And then, just play. No secret technique, nor godlike ability required. It was like breathing. Just... Breathe. Tempest wondered how many ponies could just form magical points without having a horn. Octavia, with her limited knowledge of magic, simply explained that all ponies had some form of magical reserve within themselves. It was just their interaction with it that was different. Tempest was a little surprised, amused even at the revelation, and though she didn't show it, her hopes were rekindled and she secretly basked in the relief that she could still play the piano. That is, until Mess Octavia slapped her with an exercise regimen that consisted of repeating the same chord over and over again. This, Miss Octavia explained, was to train her hooves to form those magical points, because said points were very, very difficult to master. Tempest had eagerly accepted the challenge. After all, having some military experience under her belt meant that such regimens weren't alien. Just in slightly different circumstances, that's all. She could do it. She would do it. It'd be easy as pie, heck, even a cupcake. It was hard, difficult, and energy-consuming. Tempest had repeated the same chord for a whole month, but she still struggled to keep her points perfectly stable. Her chords were muddy, unclear, and clumsy. A far cry from the angelic voice the instrument was meant to produce. Tempest stood up from the piano. She stretched her muscles and cracked a few joints here and there, for she had been sitting at the instruments for the past two hours. She looked at the time. It was around 5.50 in the afternoon. She looked around the room, then out the window. Octavia was sitting at her desk working on her music, while ponies milled here and there in the street below, some basking in the beautiful sunsets, and others chatting and slurping a drink. Next to a tall lamppost, an earth pony was jamming with a fiddle. A crowd of ponies had gathered around her, bopping and dancing to the lively jig. Tempest observed her hoof movements. They're so... perfect. So precise, so virtuosic. Running up and down the fiddle with nothing but magical hoof points to finish off the song with a satisfying glissando. She must be really talented, thought Tempest sullenly, perhaps a little jealously too. Oh yes, she is, replied Octavia. Tempest looked back, a little surprised that she thought that out loud. You know her? Yes, she's one of the students I taught. <laughs> Your student? Yep. She's a bright young filly. Has a real talent and heart for music. 
mused Octavia, before sighing. It's sad that she lost a horn at such a young age. Tempest gasped a little. Wait, she's a unicorn? Octavia nodded, a little sadly. She was. She grew a long mane to hide the stub. Tempest looked back through the window. There the mare was, sitting on a bench as she packed away her instrument. Indeed, she had a long, chocolate-brown mane with beige streaks. But aside from the oversized bow adorning her head, nothing seemed out of place. Tempest steeled her eyes and observed her forehead. It was hard to spot and easy to miss, but there it was. It was true. Peeking from beneath a lattice of hair was a small little stub of a horn. Broken off, no doubt. She wondered if the mare had felt the same as she'd felt. A certain kind of loss. One that is not easily replaceable. A unicorn's horn was as precious to them as a heart was to a body. Without it, one might as well be considered dead. Tempest pushed away those memories and turned from the window. She trotted to the desk and sat down, a tired groan escaping her lips. It's easy to be discouraged, Tempest, said Octavia, not looking up from her work. Yep, and I'm having lots of it, Tempest answered dryly. Ponticello felt the same before. Tempest raised a brow at that name before hazarding a guess. Your student? The fiddler? Octavia nodded. She continued her lessons after her accident. She was quite tenacious. Octavia cracked a smile at that remark. And it wasn't an easy process. Tempest looked down at her hooves. They ached badly. <sighs> yeah, I can see why. The musician nodded. Ponty came close to giving up several times because it was so difficult to master her hoof points. She was also bullied by some members of a band that she joined. <laughs> Did she beat them up with her fiddle? Smirked Tempest. No, she didn't. Deadpanned Octavia. What she did do, though, was come to me for some encouragement and advice. You know what I told her? <laughs> what? I told her to stop trying to make her practicing perfect. She was always frustrating herself over not being able to play a certain note perfectly. I told her to just let go and allow herself to make mistakes from time to time. Tempest pursed her lips. Same with you too, Tempest. Don't try to play the chord perfectly. If you make a mistake, get over it and continue on. Tempest sighed. But I've been practicing for a month and there's still no progress. That's alright! Just take it slow. Not all musicians learn at the same pace. I took a year to perfect my cello playing. Ponty took two. It was pretty exhausting. <laughs> I'll take three then. Smirked Tempest. Oh, pff, it doesn't have to be three. It could be two, maybe one, or even half. Just continue practicing, Tempest. Don't give up. Tempest nodded, allowing herself to digest everything Miss Octavia had said. She gazed at the piano for a little while, before turning to Octavia. I guess I'll have to continue torturing myself with those exercises. Octavia sulked. Please, my father wrote those exercises for me when I was little. Tempest blew a face. You should tell him what a harsh taskmaster he is. Oh, you don't know how harsh he is when it comes to music. He studied under Beethoven himself, after all. That's a standard he fervently wishes to live up to. Tempest nodded with a smug. I see. Look, she might look up on that Beethoven guy later on. Octavia giggled, again in that posh canterlot style, before glancing at the clock. 6.10 p.m. Why don't we do one last round of practice? <sighs> no. Dinner's on me. With complimentary ice cream dessert? Only if you help me finish the woodwind pots. Fine. Deal. It's been a while about hearing stuff about Tempest, but it's always nice to see. And paired with other background characters, oh, such a wonderful time. Anywho, let's get on to our brilliant donators. Top donators are 630, Only One Thing, Saru Orion, and Iron Sky. Darkside Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moon, Heart Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Sword Brother, Mordred, Omicron, Library, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Rise, All, Badass, Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi, 88, Chancellor, Crest, Big Smoke, 369, Bobcat, GJF, and many more awesome people. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.